Hey, what's up YouTube? Casual Yugi stuff here back bringing you guys another Yu-Gi-Oh pack opening video. Or should I say tin opening video? We're going for a Power Tool Dragon tin today. These should be the tins that have two first edition Ancient Prophecy and two first edition Crimson Crisis. Some of these tins don't actually have first edition packs um, for Crimson Crisis, but uh, Raging Battle is pretty much guaranteed. This is a North American tin, so if you're excited for the pulls in today's video, guys, there is a giveaway. If we get 100 likes, I'm going to ask for 100 likes. I think we can do it because you smashed it last time. We can give away this amazing Hidden Arsenal 3 sealed booster pack. If you want to win a free booster pack, guys, drop a like. I know you can get 100 likes, guys. We did it before. You can do it again. Also, guys, a little bit of a condition for today's video. If we don't get more than two foils from this tin, I'm going to be opening three extra booster packs. Unlimited Duelist Genesis, Crimson Crisis, and Stardust Overdrive. So... Depending on how this tin goes, if we get a godly tin, I think that will be it for the video. But if we get a pretty terrible tin and don't get at least two foils, then I will be opening uh, those other packs as well. So, without further ado, let's crack into the tin. I don't even know how much these things are worth, to be honest with you guys. Uh, last time I checked, like $300 a tin. So, yeah, these tins were meant for cracking. We are casual, so we will open one and see if we can get um, a couple of nice pulls today. Ooh, I can already see Crimson Crisis first edition packs, which is great. So here is our Power Tool Dragon. Wow, this thing looks incredible. Really good. Beautiful. Never get tired of seeing these tin openings. I think whenever any other fellow Yu-Gi-Oh! tuber posts uh, a video opening these, I always make sure I watch these tins, because when there are first edition packs, guys, you do have that slight chance of getting something incredible. So there's Power Tool Dragon, which we will, I guess, just leave coaching in the video. And we'll dig out our packs which is 1st edition Crimson Crisis. Ooh, a backwards Crimson Crisis. Unlimited Raging Battle and two 1st edition Ancient Prophecy, guys. So those are the five packs that come from the tin. There should be some sleeves in here or something. Yeah, there's sleeves. And we'll lay out our five packs that we do have. I'm gonna go and start straight away with the Raging Battle. So yeah, guys, let's see if we can get another Ghost Rare from today's video. Or I'll be happy with an ulti as well. So we start off with a Lava Dragon, Urgent Synthesis, Vanguard of the Dragon, and a Level Warrior. Nice card, nice foil. One for the foil counter for today, Motronic Videon. Emperor Sem, someone shouted out that that's a massive throwback for them, so if that was you, drop your comment again. So Level Warrior will sleeve up. So we've got uh, Level Eater and Level Warrior. Uh, you say cards for sure. So we've got a first foil of the video, guys. That's brilliant. We'll go for a couple of the first Ed packs now, like Crimson Crisis. I think a PSA 10 Ghost Rare sold for around $4,000. Uh, PSA 10, Red Dragon Archfiend, guys, I sold those. So if we, can get a, if we can get a Ghost Rare today, which grades a 10, we're gonna make a lot of money back. So Morphtronic Slingen, Vengeful Servant, Assault uh, Mercenary, and just an Assault Counter, guys, with an Arcane Apprentice. I lied! We got a Multiply! Yes! Nice! Okay, so the foil was behind the rare for this, uh, this pack. That's normally what the, they do in the European sets, but this thing is really nice. This is the, I believe, the first ever printing of Multiply, which came out in 5Ds in 2009 in Crimson Crisis, so, yeah, that's epic. So we've already got two foils, guys, but, uh, we gotta get three. Did I say that we've got to get three, or did I say that we've got to get two to open the, the other packs? I don't know. But I'll probably just end up opening those other packs as well. We'll see. We'll go, uh, yeah, let's go, no, let's go Ancient Prophecy. So two for two so far. We might have chosen a God Tin. Dark Sea Float. Very creepy looking card. Uh, Silver Wing. Pixie Ring and a Quacky Meru Crusader, guys. So we did get another foil. Quacky Meru Crusader. Wow, three for three. Kuribon as well. That is a really nice rare. Uh, Ancient Crimson Ape, Genetic Woman, Shark Cruiser, and Hydro Pressure Cannon. So three for three. That is insane. But they're all super rares, I guess. So nothing too crazy. But hey, foils are fun to pull, right? Especially from these packs where nothing was guaranteed back in the day. Back in 2009, guys. Last pack of Crimson, then we'll go back to Ancient Prophecy. Let's move those commons out of the way in rares. So we've got a Descending Lost Star, Hydra Viper, Morphtronic Slingen, El Ebon Arrow, and just an Assault Beast. Not a terrible rare. Dewfrog might be a dollar or two. Raider Raptor, sorry, Raptor Wing Strike, Submarine Frog, and Psychic Sword. 
Okay, last pack from the tin, um, Ancient Prophecy. Let's see what we can get. <sighs> Do we have a foil? It's not looking very promising, guys. Fairy Wind, Core Blaster, Spirit Burner, and just the Death Amulet with a Gap, the Divine Soldier. It's a trap card. Oh, a Flambell counter, guys. So, unfortunately, a great tin, but not what we were looking for. But you know me, guys. I'm probably going to open these three packs. So let's add a bit more 5Ds to the video, guys, and crack open these. Um, we'll start off with uh, with Stardust Overdrive, actually. We'll, go, we'll work our way backwards. Unfortunately, these are unlimited, and they are European packs with a little EN. But still, really good fun to open. All right, so we have a Energy Bravery, uh, Moray of Greed, Time Passage, Regulus, and just a uh, Kato Beplas and the Witch of Faith. So just a rare Enlightenment, Reptilian Scylla. There's Level Eater, we were mentioning him before, and Spider's Web. Just to look how different a uh, European pack looks to the North American guys. Look how different those colours are. It's absolutely incredible. It's got nothing to do with it being first edition or unlimited. It's just European versus NA. My god. Absolutely different colours. I love the European packs, man. So much more than the American. <sighs> Morphtronic Borden. Morphtronic Mix-Up. Dark Tinker. Ebon Arrow again, and just an Arcane Barrier, and a Morphtronic Force Field. Those are Morphtronics, actually. Cross Sword Beetle, Super Solar Nutrient. Last pack magic, guys. Can we end on a foil? Because we just got three Super Rares. Come on, we can do it. The Duelist Genesis. This is where we get a Ghost Stardust just randomly chilling in this pack. Oops, that opened pretty rapidly. Okay. I don't know, guys. It's not looking good. Oyster Meister. Twin Shield Defender. Synchro Deflect. Noisy Nat. Yamato no Kami. Oh, just a rare, guys. Medium Piece Golem. Silent Strider. Light Swarm Barrier. And Battle Tune, guys. So, not the best opening today, guys. 5Ds. Tell you what, 5Ds. We have some unfinished business because I will get something huge very soon, I'm sure. I'll continue opening 5Ds, guys. Even though it's not very, um, you know, not very lucky with us at the moment. But overall, we did pretty well, guys. Three supers, two of which first edition, level warrior, and a power tool dragon. If you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure if we get 100 likes, I'm giving away an epic booster pack to one lucky winner. I choose the giveaway winners at the end of every month. Remember to keep it casual, guys. Stay safe when collecting, and I'll see you tomorrow in another video. Peace.